Okay, now I wanna go over the accounts payable aging report. So that is in the accounts payable module under reports, aging. This is the report that we use the most often. As far as the defaults go, we use the date. So as of today's date, we're gonna age by the due date. We wanna see the details of each invoice. We're gonna use posted only because we use the aging report to decide what should be paid each week and you can't pay a pending invoice. So if there's a pending invoice in the system because there's a question out or it might not be valid, then um, there's no point in having it on the aging because it can't be paid. So we use posted only and we include a current column. So this report is everything for this property that has been posted and has not been paid yet. So as of July 26, 2021, this invoice is current, so it is not due yet as of this date. So if you wanted to run it through next Friday, then you can see everything that's going to be due as of next Friday. So everything is going to be as of whatever date you run it for. So this first, this first column is going to be all of your invoices that aren't due yet. The next is one to 30 days past due, and then 31 to 60 days past due, 61 to 90 days past due, and over 91 days due. So another thing I wanna point out is under invoice number, this little asterisk means that an invoice has been scanned in as backup. So you can click down on that and see the actual image that was scanned into M3, which can be really helpful if you're deciding what should be paid and you have any questions on that invoice. Also, like all the other reports in M3, it can be printed, it can be exported, it can be emailed. You can use this little binoculars to search for a specific invoice if you're looking for something. So that is the aging report in M3.